Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to this new English lesson. This lesson is for the third intermediate, the second semester. The subject is English, full blast six. The lesson is 4B, the great outdoors. It's the first part of the lesson, read and vocabulary. The lesson was prepared and will be presented by Mrs. Atidal al -Ghambi. For today's objectives, we are going to identify structures and functions in a context of a text. It's a dialogue. We are going to read it, and then we are going to read for specific information. There, there are going to be some questions. We are going to answer them, and then we are going to say vocabulary related to the text. Okay. Look at these pictures. Can you name some outdoor activities? Some activities that you cannot play at home. Yes, we have tennis, golf, uh, jump ropes, American football, basketball, volleyball, soccer or football, okay, karate. So all of these are outdoor activities. They are activities that cannot be done inside your homes. Very good, okay. We also have camping, etc. Okay. Now, have you ever spent time on a farm? Have you ever went to a farm and spent time in a farm? Yes, very good. A lot of people do. Okay. Would you like to go? Would you like to? Why or why not? Personally, I would love to because sometimes it relaxes you from the tension of the city. It makes you relaxed. Okay, sometimes when you go back to the nature and the green uh, places and the animals, you feel that the tension goes off and you feel a relief. So that's why I would love to go to the farm. Okay, now look at the picture. What do you think happened to Bill? Then we are going to listen to the dialogue and we are going to check our answers. Look at Bill. Here's Bill. Okay. We, here he has mud all over his clothes and his hands. So what do you think happened to him? Maybe he fell off a tractor. Yes, maybe somebody pushed him. Maybe he had a fight and he fell on the floor. So we don't know what really happened to him, but it's an evidence that he got all dirty. Okay, so listen carefully in order to answer why or what happened to him. Why is he dirty and what happened to him? Four. 4B. The Great Outdoors. 1. Read. B. Look at the picture. What do you think happened to Bill? Listen to the dialogue and check your answers. Then, read it out in groups. You know what? I thought this agritourism would be a boring way to spend my time. Me too. But actually, it's a good laugh. Yeah. Come on, then. We can't waste our time chatting. There's work to be done. But Farmer Ted told us to take a break. Did he? OK, let's take some pictures since we've got some time to kill. But Bill's not here. Where is he, by the way? Here he comes now. What happened to you? Why don't you ask Tom? Did you do this, Tom? Don't talk nonsense. Of course I didn't. What are you talking about, Bill? OK, this is what happened. Farmer Ted told me to clean out the cow shed, so I went to get a bucket and spade from the shed. Then I saw Tom passing by. Remember, Tom? Yes. You asked me to tell you where the cow shed was. And you told me it was next to the farmhouse. It is, isn't it? No. That's Thunderbolt stable. Thunderbolt? The horse? Farmer Ted told us to steer clear of him. He's a wild one. I know, I know. I opened the door and it was quite dark, but I started cleaning anyway. The next thing I knew, something kicked me and I fell over. Into some mud? Ew! That's disgusting. Never mind. Let's get you cleaned up. Please, Bill. Can I take a picture first? Okay, so it seems that somebody or something kicked him. Who kicked him or what kicked him? Thunderbolt, yes, Thunderbolt. It kicked him. It's a wild horse. It kicked him and he fell in the mud. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's read again 
and then we are going to discuss it thoroughly. You know what? I thought this agritourism would be a boring way to spend my time. Agritourism, it means going into uh, natural places or agriculture. Okay. Uh, me too, but actually it's a good laugh. So they're having fun. They're enjoying their time. Yeah. Come on then. We can't waste our time chatting. There's work to be done. So he said that they have to work. Tom, but Farmer Ted told us to take a break. Told him to take some time off. Okay. Did he? Okay, let's take some pictures since we've got some time to kill. So they have a lot of time. They want to have fun and take pictures of the place. But Bill's not here. Where is he, by the way? So they're asking about Bill. Here he comes now. What happened to you? So he's full of mud. Why don't you ask Tom? Did you do this, Tom? So. Bill is blaming Tom. Let's see why is he blaming Tom. Don't talk nonsense. Of course I didn't. What are you talking about, Bill? Okay, this is what happened. Farmer Ted told me to clean out the cow shed. So I went to get a bucket and a spade from the shed. Then I saw Tom passing by. Remember Tom? Okay, so now he's telling him why is he blaming him. Yes, you asked me to tell you where the cow shed was. And you told me it was next to the farmhouse. It is, isn't it? No, that's Thunderbolt's stable. So Thunderbolt is a horse's name, yes. Thunderbolt, the horse, Farmer Ted told us to steer clear of him. So he told us to steer clear of him, which means avoid him. He's a wild one. He's not trained yet, okay? Now, I know, I know. I opened the door and it was quite dark, but I started cleaning anyway. The next thing I knew, something kicked me and I fell over into some mud. Ew, that's disgusting. So he's not feeling good about it. It's a horrible feeling. Never mind, let's get you cleaned up. Please, Bill, can I take a picture first? So he's mocking him. He wants to take a picture of his friend while he's filthy, full of mud. Okay. Now, look at these phrases, one to five, from the dialogue and match them with the meaning. So as we said, it's a good laugh. It means it's fun. Very good. They're having fun. Excellent. Don't talk nonsense. When I say don't talk nonsense, it means very good. Stop saying silly things. Very good. As we said, steer clear of, when he said steer clear of Thunderbolt, it means avoid, very good, avoid. The next thing I knew, the next thing I knew, yes, it's all of a sudden, suddenly, or the next thing I knew, that's disgusting, that's horrible, very good. Great job. Okay, now we are going to read again and answer the questions. What kind of a holiday are Ali, Bill, and Tom on? Very good. Agri-tourism. Very good. They're on an agri-tourism holiday. Who didn't think they would enjoy the holiday? Tim and Ali. Very good. Tim and Ali. They thought it would be boring, but actually they are having fun. Why aren't Ali and Tom working at the moment? What did... Yes, very good. Farmer Ted told him to have a break, to take a break. What did Farmer Ted tell Bill to do? Very good. Clean the cow shed. Yes, to clean out the cow shed. Excellent. Okay. Now, why is Bill angry with Tom? Why did he blame Tom? Very good. Because he told him the wrong directions. Yes, he gave him the wrong directions to the cow shed. What is next to the farmhouse? What turned out to be next to the farmhouse? Thunderbolt stable. Very good. Thunderbolt's stable. What did Farmer Ted warn the kids about? About Thunderbolt. They, he said to avoid him because he's a wild one. He warned them about Thunderbolt. Why did Bill fall over? What happened to Bill? He was kicked by a horse. Very good. Because a, her, a horse kicked him. Very good. Great job. 
Okay, now we're going to listen. What do the expressions in bold mean? We're going to match them with the definitions A to H. So when I say, my dad spends his free time making model planes, what does that supposed to mean? Let's see. Always find the time to do something. Sometimes, pass the time, make someone's life difficult. Don't hurry. Not use your time wisely. Not having, uh, have nothing to do. Not having anything to do. So when he says, my dad spends his free time making model planes. So he, very good. He passed the time. He has some quality time. He does model plane. Now, when I say number two, stop wasting your time playing computer games, do something useful. So wasting your time, it's making time or not using your time wisely. Very good, G. Excellent. Okay. You've got until the weekend to finish the project. So take your time means don't hurry. Very good. Don't hurry. Okay. My parents always give me a hard time. Uh, sorry. Arnold is really busy, but he's going to try and make time to have coffee with his friends. So when we say make time, when you make time, it's very good. If we'll find some time or something at the time, find the time to do something. Very good. Okay, five. My parents always give me a hard time when I don't finish my homework. So. Yes, very good. It's E. Make someone's life difficult. Very good. Excellent. Okay. My favorite sport is tennis, but I also play basketball from time to time. So it's sometimes, every now and then, or sometimes. Very good. Okay. We have some time to kill before lunch, so let's go for a walk. So we have free time. Yes, we have nothing to do. Very good. Excellent. H. Don't forget to wear your helmet at all times. So we usually say this for always. Excellent. Always. Great job. Okay. In this lesson, to sum up today's lesson, we identified structures of, and functions of a context in a text. Then we read for specific information. We answered the questions. And we said some vocabulary or words related to the text that were used in the text. Actually, it was phrases about the word time, okay? Today's references were Full Blast 6 Students Books, Full Blast 6 Teacher's Guide, Full Blast 6 Audio, Google Clip Arts for Pictures. Thank you for attending today's lesson. Hope you had fun and enjoyed. See you next time.